Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey guys, it's James the Chart Guys. It is Wednesday, March 7th. Gonna do my nightly video on NatCast. So in yesterday's NatCast video, um, I said I liked the fact that the weekly uh, on Monday broke above the, the, the previous week's highs here above 2.731. Um, and the reason why is because you can clearly see that every weekly candle again has been setting higher highs and higher lows here. Uh, and I was expecting a back test this week or next week in last night's video of the 8 EMA. And it looks like we're getting that uh, this week and into the inventory report. So we'll see if uh, the bulls with inventory bull reaction can push above this 80 MA, close above it, uh, and then go for that 20 MA on natural gas. So 20 MA is descending it's at 2.905. If you're using the adjusted charts, then you've already you're already above the 20 MA here, um, and you can clearly see same thing on the adjusted charts: higher highs on the weekly and higher lows, uh, and gaining the 20 MA with two more trading days left. If we trade gain the 20 MA, the next target would be the higher of 2.983. Um, and depending on what the daily RSI is going to be at, let me check the daily RSI. If the daily RSI gets to the to this oversold territory uh, in the 70 area, as it reaches that that recent weekly half 2.983, then I'm going to look for the weekly uh, to form a lower high under 2.983, and we'll look for a bear entry there. Um, at least in the short term for some pullback. And what we may be doing is forming an equilibrium pattern where we have a low, we have a high, we've established a, a, a higher low, and if the daily RSI is, is overbought, I'm going to expect it to establish a lower high. We could be in an equilibrium pattern tightening up, and we'll see which way it breaks on the weekly here. For that gas, as far as daily goes, as far as the daily goes, uh, Continuing to have nice bull break above this resistance here of 2.731. That, of course, is that uh, breaking that higher high on the weekly and some follow through here. And now we've established a consolidation low here of 2.673. So 2.673 is a is what the bulls need to hold on in any type of pullback. Um, the daily is gained the upper Bollinger Band. It seems to, we'll see if it starts opening up again and we get some continued upside here. As far as price resistance go, the next resistance I will be looking at, let's see if I can look at a four hour chart to see some earlier resistances before the daily. Uh, the next resistance I will be looking at is, let me zoom in. And the next resistance I'm gonna be looking at is 2.825 um, for NAC gas. And again, the support here, uh, let's see if I can find some hourly supports. As far as supports on the hourly, uh, the first support is is 2.769, then uh, 2.755, then we will go down here to uh, 2.744. So those are the next supports. And again, the next resistance I'm going to be looking at based on this four hour chart. Uh, you could even say this is going to be a resistance. Let me zoom in a little more. No, yeah, I'm going to be looking at 2.834 as the next resistance uh, based on this four hour chart. So on the daily, the daily, weekly, uh, NAC gas bulls are in control. And the way I would play it for a swing trade, if you're looking for a weekly swing trade, um, again, I would either look for the watch the daily RSI Again, if you look at the daily RSI where it's pulled back the last time if it hits that area again oops the daily RSI hits that area again close to the close to the 70s um, as it gets up here to this recent weekly high at 2.983 then look for a pullback before that and setting a, a lower high on the weekly and the reason why is that if it continues to have a such a bull run here uh, on the week on the on the daily uh, without any consolidation then it's going to be very overbought on the RSI and 
and not leaving much room to the upside. So I'm going to look for, again, a lower high on the weekly unless we see some consolidation on the daily. If you're playing the daily chart for uh, a pullback, if you want to look for a bear play, um, at this point, I would look for it if, if we have a bear reaction tomorrow. Look for the low of 2.744 to break for a trade, and it would just be a trade. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go past a day on the trade unless it broke this recent consolidation low here of 2.673. So look for 2.673 to break for uh, something more than a day trade. If you're looking for a day trade, I would play it on the break of the low today of 2.744. So have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.